I'm here to address Death Battle's main point. Um, if we had to go, who is strong as Superman, would we still want him? Yes. Yes, we would. And then we would know that Goku would get even stronger than what he was. Even stronger than that of Superman. Even stronger of that of himself. That's Goku's whole point. And no, Goku's not a ripoff of Superman. Get out of here. <laughs> they just dissed the Dragon Ball Z community so hard. We're supposed to sit back and accept it. Power levels of bullshit. We're supposed to accept that. Beerus and we are, are have limits. We supposed to accept that. And we haven't even seen them yet. We seen no limits from these beings. We we ain't even seen none from. <laughs> Different universes gonna come and play with warriors even stronger. I don't quiet for a couple seconds, but that's just because this death battle is so stupid. The first one I could get, I could get, but I still didn't like it. Second one, they just straight up destroyed everything. They're gonna make people look at Dragon Ball Z as though it's nothing. Then they're like, oh, Superman, we don't like him because he's not supposed to be relatable. But Goku, yeah, we're supposed to relate to him. Get out of here. Kiss, you can't kiss ass of Dragon Ball Z fans. That King Kai stuff, oh, Goku, you can't beat him. Goku's like, no, I will beat him. And then King Kai's like, no, Goku's like, okay. No, that's not how Goku is. Uh, um, and also, they still threw around those unnecessary feats when they still just used the argument. Goku has limits, Superman doesn't. Well, why is he struggling to lift infinity? Why is he even struggling to do all this stuff? If he really didn't have any limits, he wouldn't struggle. And I know they're saying, oh, well, with the power of the sun. Yeah, Bills can sneeze. Sun. He actually destroyed two suns. He, he destroyed two suns easily. Just on a whim. And Goku fights this guy. And you tell me Goku can't just destroy two suns? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then it was like, oh boy, if he does destroy something, he can fly through a blue star. You think Goku's gonna let him do that with the instant transmission? They didn't even use the instant transmission in the battle a lot. Goku can use that in technique. They didn't use the fact that Goku knew everything about Superman or anything. <laughs> or they, they, and then they were like, oh, we're not using, we're not using pre-crisis. We're not using any of those. Like they said, they were focusing on two main series. But then they start showing stuff from the animated series about the lobotomy thing. Then they start showing stuff from different comic books. No, you still did the same thing you did last battle. And in this fight, you actually took things away from Goku. They said, oh, well, we just putting these two at their strongest. Well, I mean, we haven't seen Goku's strongest. That's not fair to say. And then they're like, oh, well, in his strongest, he's just pretty much God. Um, I'm pretty sure Goku's going to be pretty much God. That's what he is. In his base form now, he's pretty much a guy. I've seen so many videos of people ranting and raving about this. But the thing is, I think Goku would win. And that's just the end of it, really. I mean, people can argue. People can say stuff. And I'll look at their points and be like, oh, okay, this, that, and other. But that whole limit argument, it's bullshit. And why were people in the anime getting scared whenever they seen high power levels? It's because it measures power. Uh, they repeated themselves so much in their last fight. They actually played the same clips from the old Death Battle. And for people who say, oh, you're just a Dragon Ball Z fanboy. No, no. I like all types of anime. I like all types of everything. I even liked Superman for a while until people just started, oh, Superman's this, Superman's this, uh, get out of here. Batman beat up Superman. Oh, he used Kryptonite. Well, he did, so, what that mean? They make a new Superman versus Batman movie? Already, what, is Superman v. Batman is what it's called? Alright. And, the only thing, I mean, I like Supergirl more than I like Superman. For obvious reasons. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z now is on a whole nother level and they can do nothing but grow. So, a creatory on probably seeing the death out. He's like, nope, making beer is a universe destroyer. And plus, all that, oh, he took 16 quintillion um, megatons of damage or whatever, how durable he is. He's not as durable as a universe. I can tell you that much. I'm pretty sure even in his prime form, he's not as durable as a universe. 
because also he didn't create a universe he just dragged atoms to another from somewhere else and said oh welcome to my universe that's not creating a universe when he resurrected the girl uh, Lois Lang or whatever he actually didn't do that on his own power he had help I read the I read the one million comic I'm not stupid he's not as broken as you say he is oh did I mention that I think he ends up dying at the end of that but I'm not too sure about that one. my main thing is this though now that Dragon Ball Z has moved on I'm gonna move on and Death Bottle it's just for entertainment it's not not anything to really take serious their name is Screw Attack they're pretty much wanting to start fan wars and I just hate how I already know in this video I'm gonna have Superman fanboys commenting and then I'm gonna have Goku fanboy commenting and they were like oh well yeah Goku can win yeah or no nah, no nah, Goku ain't shit I'm gonna get those comments I don't, I don't have to deal with it I just like the I just know that every time I put Superman vs Goku in the title of my video I get like 20 something views in a day that's kind of pitiful